Look at how fluffy he is. He goes, I'm being so good. Hi. I'd like another nut, please. <laughs> if it's not too much trouble, I would like another one. <laughs> We're the Irwins, and this is Australia Zoo. Our dad, Steve, built this zoo to protect our world wildlife. Today, we strive to carry on his mission. So come with us. This is Wild Times. at the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital with two very adorable new additions to Australia Zoo's family. These are our gorgeous star tortoises. We've only had them for about two weeks now and they're our very first star tortoises ever at Australia Zoo. So we're all pretty happy that we have these two teeny tiny family members <laughs> as part of our animal family here. These little guys are only three months old and they weigh about 40 grams. They're still in quarantine at the moment. What that means is because they've only been here at Australia Zoo for two weeks, we want to make sure they're nice and healthy. So star tortoises are called star tortoises because of that really cool pattern on their shell. So they kind of look like they have little tiny stars on their shell. These guys aren't going to get a whole lot bigger. They stay pretty small throughout their whole life. But you'd be surprised by how much they eat. I have never seen such a small little thing go through so much food. And I think that's because they're trying to grow. So so these guys are under a little bit of threat in the wild, which is why it's important that we protect them for the future generations to come. You never know what's going to happen with these adorable meerkats. Every day is a new adventure. Thank you for keeping watch over all of us. We are joined by a very beautiful friend. Robert, who have we got? This is Keto. And Keto, hey, mate. He's a gorgeous blue and gold macaw. Isn't he amazing? One of my favourite things about him is those spectacular wings. So, ready? Wings. <gasps> wings. Yay, oh, good boy. Good Here you go. <gasps> Isn't he awesome? He's so clever. He's so cute. Macaws are amazing because they actually are like little four-year-olds. They are incredibly intelligent. Yep. They can sometimes be a little bit cheeky, <laughs> but they are always learning. You can see now, he goes, look, I'm very beautiful. Can I have some more nuts and seeds, please? It's true. He's so smart. These guys have that massive beak, and that yeah. beak is very specially designed to crack anything open. They open mm -hmm. nuts and seeds. You can see right now Keto is all fluffed up and very happy. That means that he's in a very good mood. But these macaws can actually live up to and over 70. Some cases we found that they can live over a hundred. So these guys don't make fabulous pets because they do live so long. The owners of macaws forget that they actually have to put the bird in their will because they live such a long time and can actually outlive their owners. So yeah. sometimes it might be easier to have a goldfish than a macaw. That's probably is my a better best pet. suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> but they are very sweet and they're very intelligent. Look at how fluffy he is. He goes, I'm being so good. Hi. I'd like another nut, please. <laughs> if it's not too much trouble, I would like another one. <laughs> Mount Kosciuszko is Australia's highest mountain. It's over 7,000 feet tall. Our word of the day in Australian slang is fair dinkum. Fair dinkum means so true or absolutely. For example, these little guys are fair dinkum, our cutest animals at Australia Zoo. But don't tell our other animals that next week on Wild Times. So you look at these and you think, oh, they've been growing for a while. Oh, think again. These are one month old. 